Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, and welcome to the month of September, the month of birthing, the month of transition, uh, the month of productivity, the month for accumulate. We are ready and we are excited about giving birth to our new ideas, our new goals, our new visions, as we are coming um, into, we're into the last quarter of this year. We're excited about what we're doing and what um, the creator is doing through us and the doors that are opening and so forth and so on. Today, I want to first begin by saying, um, uh, I heartfelt thank you, I have uh, appreciation for this month's sponsor. And that is Divine Diamonds Ministries and Apostle Lugina Rucker. I'm grateful and honored and humbled that they are sponsoring us this month. We really, really appreciate that. Throughout the month, we'll be sharing more about Apostle Rucker and the amazing work that she's doing um, through the Divine Diamonds Ministries. We also want to focus on this month. They are getting ready for a gala in October. It is called the Divine Diamonds Ministries Game Changer Ultimate Pink Gala. And it will be held on Saturday, October 7th from 12 noon to 4 p.m. in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We will be sharing more about this gala throughout the month. We'll be sharing the flyers and information on our Facebook pages. We also want to remind you of the importance of supporting our supporters. And I'm excited about this because Dr. Um, Apostle Rucker has been such an encouragement and such a blessing to my life. Uh, and the Diamond Divine Diamonds Ministry was birthed out of her spirit and her desire to help men and women become the best that they can be to become what they were created to be. The primary purpose of this ministry is to share love, to empower, to equip, to train, and to transform men and women to live a more abundant life on purpose. And you know, Let's Talk Destiny is all about purpose. And so I'm excited again, as I said, to have Apostle Rucker and the Divine Diamond Ministries sponsoring us this month. And we will be sharing more about her and the great job and the awesome impact that she's having on lives worldwide throughout the month of September. So I want to just pop in and say hello to you and to um, tell you how excited I am about the month of September. Not only am I excited because it's my birthday month, but I'm excited because it's always been known as the month of birthing and uh, transition and so forth and so on. And um, it is a month when things occur, even in the seasons, the seasons change. It is a month when uh, after we've gone through the travail um, and the adjustments and the shifting um, that is required to give birth, we are in position and we have postured ourselves to bring forth that which has been within us, that which has been lying inside of us waiting to be birthed. And so I just want to encourage you this month, no matter what we're going through individually, uh, family-wise, spiritually, physically, I just wanted to encourage you to focus on those things that you have inside of you that are ready to come forth. Push. Push those things out regardless of what other people say, what other people think, what their opinion of you is, what their opinion of uh, what you have on the inside is, it's irrelevant. When a woman is in labor and she's travailing and she's preparing to give birth, I can tell you from personal experience, you are not concerned about whoever else is in that room. You're not concerned about what they're saying, what they're doing, who didn't come, um, none of that. You're not so concerned about who said they were going to be there to hold your hand and they're not there. 
your main focus is on the delivery. And so this month, i that's what I want for all of us. I want us to maintain our focus. I want us to maintain um, our ability to push and to bring to life those things that we have inside of us, those dreams, those visions. Don't give up. It's not too late. I was uh, honored and humbled to be a guest on a podcast yesterday and the um, host was talking to me about pivoting uh, after having a major health crisis. And one of the things that we talked about was that when these things happened to me, um, I didn't just give up and quit living. I recognized that I would not be able to do things the way that I wanted to do before, the way that I had dreamed about doing them, I had to make some changes, but that I would still continue to push my dream forward, to move in my purpose. And so this is what I want to encourage you to do this month. Don't worry about what you haven't accomplished. Yes, we all made lists in January of things that we were going to get done this year. And some of those things have not been done. But don't focus on that. Focus on that which remains. Strengthen that which remains. Concentrate on what you have left inside of you to bring forth and push. This is the month for delivery. This is the month for birthing. This is the month to bring forth that thing that's been lying inside of you waiting to come out. So again, thank you for joining me. I'm excited about this month. As I said, my birthday is uh, coming and I'm excited because so many things have happened um, from the birth, the way I I was born prematurely uh, in a time when premature babies didn't you know, the mortality rate wasn't very high, but God had purpose um, and a reason for me to still be here. And so I'm still here. And then down through the years, I've had other challenges um, that could have taken my life, but I'm still here for a reason and for a purpose. And so today I continue in spite of and because of, I push forward and I keep going and I keep doing what I do. And I want to encourage you to do the same. This is the month of September and we are ready to give birth. Have a great day. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.